Thank you, Holly. We want to go back now to Crystal Moyer. She and her photographer, Crystal, so relieved to hear that you're okay. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we got you, Crystal. Tell us, tell us what happened. Tell they're us they're what on us. Okay. okay, so basically, Bruce and Jen, and sorry if I get a little bit emotional because we've just been through some crazy stuff out here. Um, we're on Bison Road, and this is off of North Main Street. What happened was we were doing a live shot talking about how flooded the roads were, and over there, it was just past my knees. We heard somebody screaming in the distance. You can't see. It's dark here, here, out here. I had no idea what's going on. We got off and then we came running over here. And this is near a daycare in the Texaco gas station. Look behind me. This vehicle almost submerged in water here. There were two people inside. So one guy was able to get out and come flag us down. We ran out here and he said, my girlfriend, she's getting out and she's getting on the roof of the car. She's still over there. You know, thank God my photographer, John, he was here. He, you know, threw me all the gear and jumped out here. The water is up past the waist out here, folks. This is not the time to get out here and drive around. It's really difficult to see. I'm sure, you know, they had good intentions. We were talking to the gentleman and he said he just wanted to pick up his girlfriend. So I'm not sure where they were coming from. You can see the lights of the back of the vehicle. It's floating right now um, out here in the parking lot. We called 911. I spoke to fire rescue. They said all of their resources, they're out rescuing people and trying to get things back in order right now. So they couldn't come out here and rescue them. Luckily, a gentleman in a truck came driving by not too long after that. I flagged him down. This gentleman he was so nice. His name is John. John, if you're out there, thank you. He took them to safety. He said he had been driving around and just dropped off somebody else. So obviously people are out and about right now and getting into some sort of situation. So again, it's just you got to be safe, guys, because if you can imagine being in this type of situation, you don't want to be stuck out here. It's dark. You can't see anybody. If we weren't out here, they would have been stuck. They were they didn't have their shirts on. They were shivering. You know, I don't know if they were hurt. They told me they were fine, but obviously they were very scared as we are, too. So just make sure you are safe. Get into a safe location. We are out here to help you guys. You know, we are safe in a safe location. That's why we have you know, large trucks. We have a news crew so that you don't have to come out here and see it for yourself. So again, this is Long Baysden Road. If you live in these neighborhoods, stay indoors for now. You are flooded. It is hard to see out here. It's dark. Even it was difficult for us. I have to get out and make sure I get out here to see how deep the waters are. So I'm glad this couple was taken to safety. Um, they said they didn't live too far from this area. So a gentleman is going to take them to safety. And of course, those rescue crews out there right now, I'm talking JFRD, I'm talking police. All of their resources are being used, rescuing other people, trying to help get everything back in order as far as power. They cannot help you right now because they're already busy. So just stay at home to avoid any other issues. Bruce, Jen. Crystal, I'm gonna ask you a question that everybody has on their mind that everybody's afraid to ask. The guy who left the car left his girlfriend in the car. Why? Well, he wanted to get help. I guess he saw we had lights out in the distance. And when we were going live, we heard people screaming. We, we couldn't tell what it was because you can't see out here. So um, he said his girlfriend is getting on the roof of the car. Um, and I asked him, you know, is everybody OK? What's going on? He kept saying, my girlfriend's still over there. She's sitting on the car. We need help. And then, you know, John just jumped into action and went and got you know, got her and brought them to safety. There's a little bit of area that doesn't have too much flooding at an old gas station out here. So that's where they kind of hung out where we were trying to figure out how we were going to move forward with the situation. So very dangerous. You know, if we weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. That car almost submerged. Take a look. It's very difficult to see because it's dark, but it's almost submerged.